Good morning on this shortened week. I'm Pete Nigerian. This is The Take for Market Rebellion. Well, I got to tell you something. We talked about last week being bumpy and we talked about some of the volumes and we had some low volume, then we had some extreme volume to the upside and just a little bit of everything, a little bit for everybody, as a matter of fact, last week. But Friday certainly was a very difficult time because of the fact the pressure was on the markets pushed down and actually closing down over 700 plus points to the downside. That was very uncomfortable. You roll into Monday and suddenly, as we look to this shortened week, the NASDAQ certainly not performing very well, at least early on. As a matter of fact, take a look at the range of the NASDAQ yesterday. It was down at one point in the first 30 minutes or so. It was down around 96.63. Then it rallied, and 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 by the end of the day, here we are, we're at close to 98.80. Uh, that's an amazing move in a single day for the NASDAQ. That was just an, an the, the reversal was impressive. Now, on the other side, the Dow itself was starting to move to the upside, continue to move to the upside, and continue to move to the upside all the way through the close. As a matter of fact, Boeing and some of those industrials absolutely leading what was a 500-plus point move to the upside. A lot of strength coming from a lot of different areas, and a lot of the coronavirus-type trade and all of that really playing into this whole thing. Really nice performance yesterday out of American Airlines, United Airlines. You had the hotels with Marriott. Then throw in the casinos with Wynn and NG MGM. Cruise ships were participating as well. When you look at Royal, Nor Norwegian, all of that. The ones that were taking a little bit of a pause, it was PayPal. It was Zoom. Actually, we're seeing a little bit of a pause once again. But... The Dow absolutely screaming to the upside. And I mentioned the industrials and the huge move, absolutely massive move yesterday that we'd seen out of Boeing. And there was all sorts of news around Boeing and the 737 and some of the test testing and all the rest of that. But that was a stock that absolutely exploded to the upside. It was up nearly 15% yesterday. That's a big move for a, a name like that in a very incredibly one trading session that really was something that stood out plus you had dow plus you had raytheon plus you had cat plus you had 3m across the board you looked and you see those industrial names anywhere from a two percent move and as i mentioned a nearly 15 percent move is a little over 14 percent yesterday for boeing definitely buoying and raising the market up in terms of the dow specifically but then add in Apple. Apple, once again, gets up towards that 360 level up a couple of percent. Throw in a couple of retail names like PVH and Kohl's and L Brands and those kinds of names. So across the board, there were all kinds of different participants yesterday in terms of the market raising to the upside. Now, those typical names that we talk about a lot of the time when we were talking about the shut-ins part of the day, we look at names like Zoom, Take-Two, PayPal, Workday. We had Activision, all those kinds of names really were pushing to the downside, but not significantly. And as I say, a big, bold move from the NASDAQ, a big move from the industrials. And, and you look at the Dow Industrials actually cruising to the upside yesterday. A really, really nice move. But I will say this, volumes looked like holiday volumes. We're talking about volumes close to 23 million. That is well off the June average. This is the final day of June, by the way. So it is an interesting time to, to see how really did we play out the month of June. And I can tell you this, the volumes were unbelievable. The volatility continued to hold in this range that we've been talking about. If you want a lower, the lower part of the range, call it close to 31. The upper part, call it close to 36. But that's where the range has been. And as a matter of fact, right in that range is where we closed yesterday, around 32, 33. That's where we're trading today as well. And, it's, it, and, and it makes a lot of sense. That's about the movement that we have been seeing when we talk about intraday moves on a consistent basis. Now, on this final day, well, we've been anywhere from in the red to flat to in the green, and then throw in what's going on with the NASDAQ today. The NASDAQ, a huge divergence once again. And you look over at the NASDAQ at one moment, and that moving to the upside, but then you look over at the Dow and there's movement... Uh, the movement back and forth has been something that's been very, very interesting. And at times, they seem to catch up once in a while, but there has been this divergence back and forth. And I'll, I'll tell you what, what really was powering this markets today was some of the real numbers that we were getting out of the earnings. So take a look at Micron. Now, Micron, absolutely, this basically caused all of the semiconductors to really have a nice move to the upside because of what Micron reported, where they had their strengths. You look at data center, you look at 5G, all of that. So 
What's moving to the upside today? Take a look at the SMH. I'll give you a couple of names. Xilinx. You got Western Digital, AMD, LAM Research, NVIDIA, Intel, Applied Materials, Qualcomm. You get the idea. A really big, powerful move. All these stocks up anywhere from 1.5% up towards a little over 5%. Micron's that name that's up over 5% today. A really nice, powerful move. Then they look over at Lululemon. This is a name that, that we talk about all the time. We'd seen what happened with Nike. Lulu with an acquisition of Mirror for $500 million. That's something that's really interesting because of the potential that you see there. And, and a lot there was an investment by Lulu last year or so. So there was already, they had their toe in the water. They had an, obviously an ability to be able to see things. And they envisioned this being something that could fit right into the Lulu model. And, the, and it's being rewarded today because the stock on this acquisition is up significantly today and has been leading most of the day in terms of the NASDAQ to the upside. So those home workouts, we talk about this all the time. We talk about Peloton, some of these names. This one really is a very, very interesting, especially when we consider some of the high demand. And that CEO, give him his credit, Calvin McDonald, really doing an outstanding job with Lululemon. So we talked about Micron and the 5G, the data center and all the rest of that, some of the numbers that they put out and the guidance all of that giving the markets a pretty nice lift. Let's see where we are right now. I'm taking a quick look. As I said, divergence. So the Dow down, but it's actually recovered. The Dow was down about 100 points, now down about 30 points. The NASDAQ up 75 points on the day. So a pretty substantial move. That's really been impressive. And you look at what was pulling on the, on the Dow early at least. What was pulling on the Dow? Same names that were leading it yesterday. Take a look at Boeing, look at Ray Raytheon, look at Dow. Those are the kind of names that we're pulling on, along with some of those energy names as well, Exxon and Chevron, a little bit of pull as well, but giving back a, or at least gaining back a little bit of that now down about 50 points. We were down well over 100 points while the NASDAQ was screaming to the upside. Now, we got to talk about a little bit of unusual. We've had all kinds of unusual already, had about four or five names to choose from. We're less than... Less than an hour into the trading session, it's been a pretty strong morning already in terms of seeing some of that unusual. We'll see if the volumes remain low, though. I talked about those volumes yesterday. Ugh, 23 million, that's that's not very impressive Can, when, when we look at where we have been for the month of June, which has been an extraordinary month. So the China 300 ETF, ASHR, really interesting name. We see this occasionally pop up. It seems to have some very large op option paper when they do hit. And this one's pretty good size, not huge, but about 6,000 of the August 33 calls. So going out a little bit, because we've talked about a lot of the, the what we've been seeing, they're, they're literally expiring July 2nd. We're talking about Thursday. Uh, that's not a whole lot of time. And then you can extend out another week or another week, but this one going all the way to August. So the full August expiration, the 33 calls, very inexpensive options, about 10 to 20 cents. Stock was trading around 29.60 at the time. So We'll see. Basically betting on their version of the Dow, their version of the S&P, however you want to frame it, but in China. So is there some upside coming in on from that? We'll see. And that's that was interesting. I have not participated. I've not had a lot of great luck with this one, but it's still worth it in terms of an observation. And by the way, speaking of observations, I will have some unusual option activity today if we have the time, but I will be on the halftime report with CNBC today. So look forward to seeing you then. Throw on a tie, the whole deal. Folks, have a great day of trading. Educate yourself. Understand the derivatives world. This is the place to be. We see it each and every day. So many people that are so happy about what's going on as they gain knowledge. But you've got to have that knowledge or the experience is not going to be great. Have a great day of trading today.